Hello everyone and welcome back to Neopets. We are sitting here at my shop today. Um, I just did all of my dailies so I have a little bit of cash on hand. But what I wanted to do today was go in and restock my shop with you guys and maybe give you some tips, like, tips and tricks that I found now that I'm... A little bit further along in my Neopets journey. It hasn't been a full year yet since I started this series and started playing again. Um, but my shop has become actually kind of profitable. I mean, not kind of profitable. It's, it's fairly profitable. Um, now I can hold over 400 items because I've upgraded my shop so much. I keep it at the same level as my galleries. In terms of items that you can hold, I neglected it for a little bit, but I, what, then I was like, wait, this is how you make money. You're being silly. So I upgraded it, and now I can hold over 400 items in my shop. And this is about the average of what I sell a day, somewhere around 50 items. Um, and I usually profit somewhere between 30 to 60 grand every day just from restocking my shop. Uh, there was a little period at the beginning of this month and the end of last month where I just let my shop go and um, I wanted to clear it out as much as I could to reprice some items and then also take advantage of uh, the third. The third of every month is half price day, so everything in the Neopets stores is going to be half price. So you can go in and get items that you normally get for half price and make even more profit. Or you can go in and get items that you normally don't get because they don't provide enough profit for you. You can get them at half price, so then they do provide profit. So that's a good shopping day. However, um, it's 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 kind of tough to shop on that day because everyone is shopping on that day, so items disappear quick. Um, so I was only able to get like 115 or so items before I just got too tired. Um, so I think I'm going to keep my end of the month thing i'm gonna kind of let my shop sit at 100 items down from the first until the third and then i'll try and fill all of that on the third instead of trying to fill up my entire 400 item shop in one day that's that's a lot okay so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing i normally do is i come and kind of take a look i look at um these items i have here to kind of take stock and see what I shouldn't buy. Like, I'm not going to buy any more sand pairs. I already have six of them in my store, and I have them marked down a little bit to try and sell them. Um, but nothing else, at least on this first page, seems to be, you know, particularly crazy in terms of having what I have on hand. And then I go and check here, and it looks like I'm selling through the um, little items. So what I do with the items under 1,000 Neo points, they're mostly items that I get from like dailies or for gifts that are under 1,000. If they make me 500 Neo points and above, I put them in my shop. Otherwise, I put them in my safety deposit box. If it's like food, I can feed my Neo pets, um, or I donate them to the money tree. But if they're 500 Neo points to 999 Neo points, I put them in my shop and I just wait for them to sell. It's free money. Um, but everything else I've purchased, well, not everything. Sometimes I get free stuff that's worth quite a bit of money, which is always really nice. But the little things that are under a thousand, um, they're all free stuff. I or um, items I bought and then like they didn't sell and a month later their jelly neo price is under a thousand so I just marked them down anyway to try and get rid of them those are the two circumstances I have items under a thousand um, neo points in my shop because for whatever reason in your sales history it only records items that are above a thousand um, if you see yourself in here say hi um, <laughs> thank you for shopping with uh, the international food market um, but it only records items that are a thousand neo points and above. Where does it say that? See, only purchases of purchases of a thousand neo points or greater will be displayed here. Um, I'm not sure why that is. Probably to free up um, all of this storage space. I'm actually going to clear this sales history because we're going to restock today. Um, and also, it probably that was probably a feature implemented like 20 years ago when they were like, "Oh, people aren't going to sell many things over a thousand; it'll be fine." And now the Neopets economy is in shambles, and like basic food items are like 5,000 Neo points. But whatever. Um, <laughs> so 
Uh, I don't purchase items that are going to retail me under a thousand Neo points just because I'm neurotic. You can totally do it. There are some that are profitable, profitable, like you'll only pay 200 for them and they'll make you like 900. It's profitable. You can do it if you want. I just choose to not do it. I'm not sure. I like to have things over a thousand Neo points, which is why almost everything in my shop is a thousand and up. Um... And my basic rule when I'm shopping is if it gives me 500 Neo points in profit, um, at least 500 Neo points in profit, I'm going to buy it. Um, ideally, you know, things give me a grand, a few grand, that would be great. But if it gives me at least 500 in profit, I'm going to buy it, unless it's under a thousand Neo points. So those are my basic rules for what I buy from the shops. Other than that, I shop in all of the food shops, which is why I run the international food market um, up here. Originally, I only shopped, I was like pretending my shop was a cafe, so I'd get like pastries and drinks and, you know, cute stuff like that. Um, but it wasn't nearly as profitable and it was so finicky because I could only shop in a few shops. Um, I didn't enjoy it, so I switched to just going to all of the food stores and purchasing whatever I can. So this is the list I use of shops to shop um, quickly. We are at the dailyneopets.com um, and under their articles, they have a list of Neopian shops. So this is all of the shops and up here it has links to them by number if that's how you know them. And then it puts them in categories. So like food and drink, book shop, clothing items, pet pets, furniture shops, magical and battle shops, toy shops, cures, collectibles, miscellaneous. So I pay attention to the food shops up here. They have them all in a list and you can just click the links. You don't have to like go around Neopia and find these shops every single time. Um, if you want to do that, it's probably a good way to get different screens to pop up for random events, but this is faster and easier for me. So I use this list. Um, I buy food because I found it to be very profitable. Um, I sell a lot of items and uh, I like that. <laughs> the only other thing I can think of that probably sells as much is books um, and potions. Uh, but potions are very, very hard to restock because so many people are watching the stores. Um, and the same thing with books. It's not as much of a contest, but there are people in the bookshops constantly looking. Whereas if I shop at like the right time in the food stops, a lot of uh, food shops, sorry, um, a lot of times I don't see other people. Um, but if I go when like lots of people are online, it can get a little competitive. But most of the time, I don't really see people unless they're getting like the super duper rare objects and that's what they're refreshing for. But like for me, that kind of doesn't matter. If I get one, I get one. If I don't, whatever. Most of my items are profitable. So if you're having a hard time making money at your shop, I would recommend switching to food and trying and seeing if it works for you. Um, I originally wanted to do a toy shop because I'm an Asuki and plushie doll collector. So it kind of makes sense. But the toy shops are super competitive because a lot of the toys aren't very profitable. The only ones that are are the super rare ones that have been inflated to shit. And you're going to have a hard time getting your hands on those because there's a bunch of people... Um, refreshing in here particularly the toy shop uh because in here you have the birthday gift bags and the usuki uh usuki con gift bags that are worth so much money and so people are in here refreshing all the time looking for those so it's a lot harder to be profitable and also with toys i don't think they're called for in as many quests and they're not consumable like books and food so you can buy one toy and literally play with it with your Neopet for months. Um, unlike food where you feed it to them and it disappears. So I don't think toys are necessarily the, the most profitable thing you can do. But if you're into like refreshing and stocking the stores, um, go for it, I guess. But food's a lot easier for me. It's a little bit more casual. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to my shop till and extract out my money. So I've made $155,900 in, um, what am I doing? Oh, <laughs> brain fart. 
Um, I've made this much over the last day. So you can see I made quite a bit of money. Um, we're going to put some of it back into restocking the shop, but not necessarily all of it. So let's withdraw that. Go back to our shop stock. See, we have to buy 66 items so I can safely shop now. Um without worry because it's over 50 so i can just shop until my inventory is full i don't have to remember a specific number it's nice um but sometimes it'll only be like 15 or whatever and then i have to pay attention to how many items i'm buying because i can i often forget what i necessarily need and then i buy extra items and it's not fun um <laughs> so i need to be aware of this number sometimes right now we don't really have to worry um so let's go ahead and get started. So the last shop I shopped at was uh, Cafe Crelador. And I remembered that because I, uh, in my Jelly Neo search, I uh, see like this is the drop grilled trees and dropped grilled cheese and the planetary pizza ring. So I know that's from Cafe Crelador. So that was the last shop I shopped at. So we're going to go to Bright Vale Fruits and see if anything is there. And there is. I don't think the Tangela on toast is profitable anymore. Let's see. Nope. So um, what I do is I look at each item. Sometimes I can tell like, oh, that's a rare item. Let's get that. And sometimes I'm like, oh, that's never been profitable. Don't even waste your time. But a lot of the times the, pl the prices fluctuate quite a bit. And so I always look at them. Uh, if I can get that for $17,000, i will buy it. Or $1,700. Goodness. <laughs> I'm not buying that for $17,000. Um, but yeah, most of the time I look at everything and it does waste time. So I have missed out on rare items because other people bought them out from under me. It is what it is. I still profit. I'm um, just uh, plunking along. But yeah so i'm trying to get items that'll give me at least 500 dollars or 500 neo points in profit so that's my qualifications none of these are <laughs> applying the bright Vale fruits isn't a really great shop to shop at um oh this one's really profitable so but yeah this shop in general isn't great but sometimes you find things that'll work so it's worth checking out the only food shop i don't go to is refreshments the only thing I've ever seen in there is a hot dog that's not profitable. Um, if you guys know what refreshments is for, can you explain it to me? I don't know necessarily what that shop is for. Um, am I just missing out on the restocks and like people go in and buy all the expensive stuff and they just leave that um, hot dog there or have, is that it? I'm not sure. So if you know, let me know. Because I wasn't around... I don't remember that shop at all. So I don't know what its its purpose is. But yeah, you can see a lot of these items are not profitable. And then when I'm going to haggle for the items, um, I have a rule in place. It seems like you can haggle for about like 10 to 20% of the item off. So... Um, Let's illustrate real quick. So if I was buying this passionberry jam, which I'm not going to, in the store, it's for $2,500. So for every 500, well, for every thousand Neo points, you can get 200 Neo points off, usually when you're haggling. It's not foolproof. It's not all the time. Um, but that seems to be the upper limit of what you can get away with. So this is priced for $2,500. I would offer $2,100. And I would usually get it. Sometimes you won't. That's kind of just the randomness of Neopets. I think they use like a random num number generator to determine like the percentage of what the shopkeeper, shopkeeper will accept. But about 20% is the highest, the higher end. Um, so because this is over 2000, 2100 would be the price I would go with because it's two times 200. So I would take 400 off of the price. If this was 2900, I would go for 2500 because that's 400 off of the price as well. Once you're getting closer to 3000, that's when you would take 600 off because three times 200 is 600. So once you reach 5,000 uh, 
in the store, that's when you can start taking a grand off because five times 200 is a grand. Does that make sense? Um, you're basically just multiplying the 1000 number by two and that'll tell you about 20% of the price so you can offer that in haggling and sometimes you'll get it right away um other times it'll be close to that price and then other times it's like oh you offered me that cool here's 300 dollars off and then i usually don't buy those <laughs> i'm like no you need to give me more um the only exception to this is um under 500 neo points in the store you can only do 50 neo points so if something is 300 neo points you can usually only get down to like 250 um but if it's a thousand it's if it's between a thousand and 500 you can usually get a hundred neo points off and then once you cross that threshold threshold of a thousand you can get 200 neo points off I hope this is making sense. Um, I'm going to try and illustrate that a little bit more with, as we go through. Uh, but there's nothing profitable here. So we are going to move on to the next shop. So that'd be Quasalon Delights. And this item is over 11,000. So it's probably a good item. Yeah. Um, so because it's 11,000, 10,000 means you can take two grand off. So let's take off two grand. So that would be 9,000. And then the extra 1,000 means 200. So we can take uh, 2,200 off of this price. So that would be 9,350. And that did not work at all. Like I said, this is very, very fickle. Um, so he's still asking for 11,255. The price for it on Jelly Neo is 11,500, so I'm not gonna buy this item. There's not 500 Neo points of profit, so we're gonna back out. That's unfortunate, I wanted that. Let's see what the mummy tamales are worth. So there were uh, 2,225, and they're retailing for uh, 1,692. So I just round this up to 1700. If it's between, uh, if the last digits are between 70 and 99, I round it up. If they're between uh, 39 and zero, I round it down. And then if they're between 40 and 60, I keep them at 50 um, because that seems to matter, I guess. So let's purchase this. So we're treating this as if they, they were charging 1700 even. So because it's between 1000 and 2000, you can take 200 Neo points off. So we're going to ask 1500 for this. And we got it. Cool. A lot of times if you're buying an item and it doesn't give you the full discount you want the first time, it'll do it on the second time. I'm not entirely sure why, but it does. So let's go back to the store. Um, I only buy two of each item, even if it's a really good deal, uh, because I've gotten burned before where it was something like, oh, this is only 400 Neo points and it's retailing for five grand. Let's buy six of them. That's just an inflation spike. Don't play into that. Um, you'll get burned <laughs> because someone is artificially inflating that price. I mean, it's all artificial inflation. This is Neopets after all, but what that means is someone is buying out all of the low price items from other people's shops and probably from the Neopets stores as well. And then they are jacking up that price so that people are forced to pay them for it. It only lasts so long because as people restock from the main stores, they keep the lower prices. So it can be profitable if you get in during the inflation bubble but if you buy six of them it's very unlikely that people are going to buy you out at that higher price and you're just going to sit around with stuff that is very inexpensive and you wasted money on so i only buy two of anything at a given point and that also keeps me from accidentally purchasing like a, a ton of stuff i already have uh, so see, we're at 340. I'm going to round that up to 350. And because we're under 500 Neo points, we can really only go down to 300. And it gave it to us. So that's good. But like that, um, the sand pair I have at home, um, if I forgot that I have six of them, well, I only bought two. So now we're up to eight instead of like, oh, no, we, um, 
I bought four more of these. What am I going to do? So this is the, a good example of an inflation spike. So they're charging $379 and it's worth $6,000. So you can be really tempted to be like, oh my God, I'm going to buy all of these. No, <laughs> just buy two. It's fine. Um, so I'm going to treat this as $400 and probably just go down to $350. Perfect. Perfect. I'm just going to buy two. Hopefully I sell one of them for 6,000. Oh, so this is another thing. If you click too fast, you can only buy one item every five seconds. It gives you that screen there. Um, but yeah, don't get tricked by that. Sometimes there are definitely items. That's way too much. Um, there are items that are worth like a ton and they're only worth like a couple thousand Neo points in the, in the shops. Um, that does happen, but if it's just like some random piece of food, that's probably not true. That's more for things like collectibles and gourmet food and stuff like that. Let's see. So that's worth 1700 and it's retailing for a thousand. So it's over $500 in profit. So I'm going to buy it because it's um, 1000 or above. I can get 200 off of it. So we're going to offer them 800. It's not going to take it, so we're going to pay $9.28, which is fine. That's still um, less than... it would. It's still low enough to give me 500 Neo points worth of profit. So I'll go with it. But this time it might give it to me for $800. let us see. Nope. <laughs> it's fine. Oop. No period in there. Right, let's go back and keep shopping. This isn't necessarily exciting. <laughs> I know that. Uh, but this is just how I shop every day. So see, this item's only worth 1200 And um, it's selling for 424 So I can get it for like 400 So there's an 8... Uh, well, there's a 700 Neo Point profit. Because I do mark my prices down. When I'm um, pricing these objects... Uh, I'll show you in a little bit. I'm going to shop off camera for a while so you don't have to watch like a half hour of this. Um, but I mark all of my items 100 Neo points lower than Jelly Neo in an attempt to kind of... Oop. No, that's right. Um, to kind of uh, keep inflation down and also make sure my items are probably one of the lower ones so people actually buy them. So that's my like marketing strategy. Oopsie, I didn't. Oh God, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just paid full price for that. I'm so mad. <laughs> it's fine. It's still profitable. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to keep shopping. I will come back to you when I'm ready to price my items in my shop. Alrighty, see you soon. Okay. So there was just a wipe. Um, when the way that the Neopets shops work is I think once a certain number of items are sold throughout all of the shops, they clear out all of the inventory in the shops and you get this screen here. Sorry, we're sold out of everything. We get restocked every eight minutes or so. So please come back soon. That's not true. It's very random. Sometimes shops will restock um, without clearing. Sometimes they'll restock like seconds after a wipe. It just kind of really depends like if i refresh here yeah we still don't have stock so what i'm doing gonna do now is go to my inventory and you can see i have 32 items in here i've bought all of these things from the three different shops i went to right now um the way to that i put them into my shop is i go up here to this little um dolly and then it puts it in a list i just go to the bottom and click this item here and it checks all of the items this is why i keep my inventory empty so shopping and stocking is a lot easier because i know that these are all things that i've purchased so i click that little thing for stock hit submit all of those go into my store i go back to inventory so i'm on this screen here then we go to our shop refresh it and we have 66 now and see we went down to 38 um, because we added those new items and then to easily get to them you sort by cost uh, because all of the items in here are going to be marked as zero so they'll be at the uh, the bottom so from here I basically just go back and go to Jelly Neo and put in the item name and you'll see it's worth 25,000 uh, 
2,575 Neo points. Oop, get rid of you. So I'm going to mark that 2,475 because it's 100 Neo points less than what Jelly Neo is recommending. Um, when you stock items and you have one already in your shop, it'll just join that item. So like, say I had one of these yogurt bowls. Um, I bought two more, I put it in my shop. It'll just automatically go with that item and be the price you have it marked in your shop. So you don't have to reprice everything you put in your shop, which is nice. Um, at the same time though, prices do change. And if you are um, stocking something and you're not paying attention, uh, you can be putting something in your store for a really low price or a really high price. So you want to keep your eye on that. I like to do every couple of weeks or when I notice that sales have dropped, I'll go through and price check every single item I have in my shop. And you'd be surprised at how quickly prices can change in Neopets. It's kind of astounding. Um, so I'll go through and check and be like, oh, no wonder this isn't selling. It's only worth, you know, a thousand less than what I have it marked. So then I mark it down a thousand and try and sell it again. So 9,300. So this one's going to be 9,200. Um, so yeah, you just kind of have to keep maintaining your, uh, your store. You can just leave them in there and wait for them to sell at that price because they probably eventually will. But I'm impatient and I want money now. Um, I need to call JG Wentworth. And so I go through every so often and look at my prices and adjust things from there. I do lose a little bit of money, um, but I profit enough that it all kind of comes out in the wash uh, because there have been things before, like um, where when I buy into, uh, you know, a huge old price hike, like something like we saw earlier, something was like $400 in the shop and is selling for 6,000. Cool. After a week, it might go down to like, oh, it's only worth 200 Neo points because someone falsely inflated it and now we're back here. Um, so I'll lose a little bit of money, but like my profits are fine. Uh, like I said, I make almost, I make at least 500 Neo points off of every item sold. And because I'm talking, I'm not able to remember these numbers. Um, <laughs> But, you know, the 500 Neo points stacks up quite a bit uh, very quickly. So that comes in handy. Also, you're not replacing your items one for one. Uh, and what I mean by that is, see, if I sold this Musaka for 9,200 uh, Neo points, and then I went and bought another of these Wailing Bowl of Oats, like, it's only going to cost me, what, 500 Neo points? So that's another way to get profit. Um... But I, I recommend buying, like, items of all different price points because it's not good to just have a shop full of expensive items. You'll make a lot of money, but it's probably going to be a lot more sparse than you would like uh, because people aren't necessarily looking to spend that money that much money all of the time. So, like, I think this is the one that's falsely inflated right now. Yeah. There's no reason to pay 6,000 Neo Point for this sand fruit salad. Um, I only paid a couple hundred for it, so I'm going to mark it actually at 5,000 to try and sell them before this little bubble bursts, um, because I'm still going to profit like four grand. So that's, that's good enough for me. I try and not get greedy, because that's how you um, end up getting your butt bit. Like, <laughs> when I uh, gamble and stuff, I'm not trying to go all out. It does not pay off for me. As you can see from my gambling special video, if you haven't seen that yet, I take all of the wheels and, and the uh, Nurk Mid machine for a spin. And I honestly didn't have a lot to show for it after. Um, but go check that out if you haven't already. It's a fun time. Someone provided me with some Nurk Mids to gamble with. So I went gambling and uh, it could have gone better. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just going to uh, keep pricing these items and then going back out and buying more and putting them in my shop and pricing them. So, you know, you just keep grinding. <laughs> There's one thing Neopets is good for. It's slowly grinding until you amass wealth, I suppose. So $22.50. But yeah, that's my little tutorial for how I run my shop. Um, there is... So I want to show you guys... Let me just mark this, 2550. So make sure if you have your shop uh, pin protected, um, once you enter all of your prices, go down and put your pin in. 
and then hit update or you're going to be very sad if you just price like 50 items and then it just disappears because you didn't put your pin okay so that's done so i want to show you guys real quick how people like normally restock my method is a little bit different so basically what people will do is open all of these tabs with whatever store they want to look at and then they'll just kind of like flick through them and then refresh 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 and see if there's any items they're looking for um because you're not allowed to just sit like if I sat on this page and refresh 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 eventually Neopets would ban you from seeing items in the shops for I think 24 hours oh is that worth money <laughs> let's check no okay <laughs> But yeah, if I just sat here, refresh, 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 breast, 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 breast. Um, it would, um, you know, pets would kick me from seeing things in the shop for, I'm pretty certain, 24 hours. So you wouldn't be able to restock anymore. But if you keep going to these different shops and keep refreshing, eventually something will pop up and um, you can nab it. Because there are fully items that sell in these shops that are worth like 200,000 Neo points. Um, I usually don't see them. There have been a couple times I've seen them and I've tried to go for it, but people buy them out from under me uh, because I took my time to highlight the item, copy the name, put it into Jelly Neo, be like, oh shit, that's worth 250,000 Neo points. Go back, try and buy the item and it's already gone <laughs> because the people that refresh like this know what they're looking for. Um, and I have done a little bit of refreshing, mostly in the Usuki store and the toy shop to try and get my hand on um, some usuki con bags or rare usukis but it's so tedious um power to the people that refresh like that couldn't be me um i think my autism keeps me from like <laughs> being able to do that it's just kind of tedious and torturous um so i don't this is how i restock and set but i did want to throw that out there. there that's definitely a thing you can do and you can get some really expensive items from that if you're fast enough um so maybe like pick one shop or I guess like three shops you like um, make a list of the items you want to look for that are definitely super profitable and then just refresh and um, go through your tabs and if they pop up buy them and profit <laughs> but that's not me that's a little too high paced for me I like my little uh, diddling around with Jelly Neo and finding the prices and all that stuff I still make a good bit of money every day so I'm not too fussed about it but on that note, this video is quite long, um, so I am going to leave you here. If you have any questions or need clarification about anything, just let me know in the comments and I will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and I will see you next time. Alrighty, bye!